we met, um, my documentary Charged was showing at Telluride Mountain Film Festival and our now mutual friend Jedediah Jenkins um, watched the film and we connected and he introduced me to Carrie. When did that documentary come out? 2017. Yeah, and then we then you were in our, our, our campaign that spring. That's right, um, Joshua Tree. Yeah, you and Becca. Jo my, my wife and I, then girlfriend. Yeah. I remember because Carrie... Oh, because no, remember because you had bought the shirt at Stag. Yes. In Venice. Yes. And I you had, had that, that cool indigo plaid. It was a And lightweight. I think you were wearing, you, and you called, Car when you, Carrie and you had your first conversation, you were wearing it and you like didn't even know and you're like oh my god this is the and it like all came together i'm wearing cool. your shirt <laughs> yeah. that yeah so we we met through that and what's interesting i don't say that i have had a great relationship with clothing in my life and fashion and what i mean by that is i really do love style and i love to dress up and when i was growing up i didn't have a ton of means to have a wardrobe that reflected style it was super utility and um a lot of kids in school and elementary don't understand that, you know, when you're not dressing like everyone else does. Or, and so it was kind of this thing for me. And I remember being a young adult in college and being able to buy my own wardrobe. And I was broke. And so, and so naturally I end up in the thrift stores. But I also kind of find that I really love the clothes that are worn in a little bit and soft and kind of broken down a little bit. And, um, and it's what I can afford. But when you fast forward all the way to being asked to shoot a catalog with you guys in Joshua Tree, I remember telling Becca, I said, I don't know how to model. Like, I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> and, um, and yet the invitation from Carrie was just come, come hang. You'll be comfortable. And would you be interested in cooking a meal? And like, that was my hook. I was like, okay, I'll go because I want to cook dinner for everybody. Yeah, Two shoots that was 2017. Uh -huh. And then in 2019, we did the Mexico trip. 2019, we did a sunset. Oh, early 2020. Early 2020, yeah, yeah. that's right, it was winter time. Mexico. February, January. And you know what's interesting about that is you all, so when someone says, well, why do you love the Faraday brand? It's because for me, it's not just, it's not a clothing brand um, relationship. I, I've come to know you all as founders. Um, I've come to know some of your story in that your mom works with you all, designs all your stores, right? Designs the inside. My dream was to work with my dad, you know? And so I see that. I think I've just admired a lot of how you guys approach business, the inclusion of family, the importance of family. And then the biggest juggernaut for me is um, my life has become pretty public with my injury, keynotes, a lot of stage time, even the television show that's out right now. Right, and at some point, wardrobe is the thing I hate the most because it, I never had it as a kid. The confidence yeah. to build your style and how to, what you wear, and yet it was on that Joshua Tree shoot and then the Casa de Coco Mexico shoot, and then every time I've been on like Good Morning America or on a big interview, I'm pulling a Faraday piece off my rack, and it's become sort of this signature thing that allows me to really step into being myself is feeling good in what I'm wearing. I think every almost everything we make would be like, you know, would Eduardo what would Eduardo wear this? Like is this kinda oh, you know, and it's I which put, is cool. I put this on today, I was like, oh this feels good. Yeah. You know? And I think that's uh yeah, it's just was you know, obviously we met kind of through, you know, somewhat work, you know, and wanting to, you know, feature you and your story and you also just look great in the clothes. And I think now it's more like, think of you as like an, you know, inspiring, you know, inspiring person, someone that when we get to spend time together, like I'm always like, that's such a cool dude. So it's, uh, it makes it easy. You know, it's not, it's not work, you know, it's like a friendship through work. And then also, yeah, we got to plan this next surf trip. We got to plan this next <laughs> surf trip. Yeah, we'll trade in our, our Big Sky Montana session. Yeah. When you all invited me into that Joshua Tree shoot, Man, the impact it had was not just to me feeling like more confident in myself. And I was, you know, 2017 was not so far past my injury. I was just trying to figure out my, my image and, 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 and the confidence. Um, but what happened was, is the catalog came out that spring or summer. Is it spring? Yeah. Spring. Much. And I started getting DMs and messages from other amputees. 
and families, not families of amputees or just people saying, wow, we love seeing this representation um, by, by you and this brand. Yeah, like, we got some great feedback too, it, which is awesome. People feeling like this is cool that, yeah, can't imagine how hard that, you know, how, how hard that was for you to go through what you went through and then how are people going to perceive me and it's, that's heavy. Totally. And, and then you see there's a, and the same goes for cooking, right? Getting back into the kitchen and picking up a knife again and cooking. They're all just incremental pieces that make you feel like, oh, I can do this. I can get after the day, like with whatever I'm working with, you know? Cookie, cooking's one of those things for me. It's just, I wish, you know, I wish I could do it more or I wish I carved out the time because it's, it's such a, uh, you know, chill, like almost meditative experience of like, you know, the beginning to end of it. And my mom was also, my mom's a good cook and she definitely, brought us up with like home cooked meals and mm -hmm. you know hearty foods and um so yeah i think that's probably something when i think about what i what i want to carve out more time for and for like, cooking yeah yeah definitely try and do it with my kids like always making breakfast and yeah getting them baking they love to bake and but that's such a it's such a great experience with the kids too like getting them growing up in the kitchen and yeah with food and so it's inspiring to like think about like how we can make our garden a little bit better and pick our food and Carrie says you guys move to like you're out like you're yeah, in a bigger spot now yeah we got and we have it. we have a little garden yeah so we had some you know had some fun wins this year with cucumber squash uh nice. melons yeah uh of ton of you know lettuces and kales and that's yes that's we're getting a strong there. start yeah, we're getting man there. that's a really strong the start. melon was big Really? I was like, that was awesome. How did you go from, you know, like high school work, right? To fashion, to clothing, to. So my. Does that yeah, so Mike, um, my twin brother Mike, he he was definitely like as a kid, the clothes, the cl you know, the clothes horse. Yeah. Loved. He always loved clothes. Um, mm. And he actually wrote his essay to get into college. You know, have to write a college essay yeah. on on starting Faraday and like the brand and really when he, when he was eighteen, he knew it. Yeah, wow. So I think ever since he wrote that essay, you know, we were always like, oh yeah, we're gonna start a clothing company one day. Even even Carrie tells the story when we met freshman year in college that that's why I told her. So I think it was like always in the, mm. you know, when you're a twin, you sort of, you know, I think you 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 sort of like you live in the same room for your whole life and <laughs> totally you, know, sure. you don't really know anything You're like oh yeah we might as well have a business together one day yes done everything else together most of our life yeah um and so mike mike studied fashion uh in college yeah and uh, got a job right out of college at ralph lauren so okay. he kind of grew up in the ralph lauren design world mm. and uh yeah but i think we're kind of entrepreneurs at heart you know i had an ebay business when i was in college you did do what it's, Buying and I may have bought something yeah, from you. Yeah, buying and reselling clothes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was always kind of entrepreneurial, always trying to figure out a way to make money. And That's crazy that you started a side hustle that was closed, though. Yeah. I mean, even when we were making it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, right, kind of right about when we were 30, you know, mm -hmm. simil similar age. I started Montana Max at 30. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of a, like you're sort of at this crossroads in life. Like, if I'm going to do it, I got to do it now. Right. Don't have kids yet. And uh, so that was 2000, kind of like around 2012 that we uh, hmm. we made the leap and started the company in 2013 and kind of the rest has been trying to figure out the crazy, crazy world. If you just walked through a Faraday store, put something on, walked out with that new flannel, you know, do you have a hope for, not an expectation because that's a slippery slope, you know, but a hope that people feel or think a certain way when they... Yeah. Definitely, I think that's a lot of like the feel, yeah, the, you know, we sort of, we're, the feel good nature of the brand, like it's a, you know, it's not just the way the clothes feel, but it's the way the clothes make you feel. You know, that's like kind of how we try and build the brand and think about, you know, whether it's the stories we tell or the people we try to support. Yeah. Um, it's like that combination of the two, you know, because you said to your point on, on style and how it makes you feel, like it definitely is like a representation, you know, the clothes you wear are kind of a representation, a little bit of who you are and yeah. what you're into and how you want to look and how you want to feel. So we spent a lot of time on that. Like we don't do this, you know, we don't do, you know, we didn't start the company because we wanted to get rich. Like we started the company because like this is what we want. Like we wanted this brand. We wanted to create this. Um, mm. And so I think that's the journey we're on is 
is um, you know how do you create a uh, a brand a business that's you know more than the clothes um, you know it can live for the rest of our lives the next generation like how to and how do yeah. we keep getting better and see it in your design right too you know um, you you've been collaborating with a lot of other artists it seems like in the last four or five years um, and and having other influences come into your styles and your patterns and um, in a way traditional business almost tells you to just put the walls up build the fort here and then project out what you want the world to know yeah. you as and um, it seems like handing the mic to other designers to influence what you all are doing maybe we just share this mic a little yeah. bit right? and I think that you know that's the you know the native initiative that that we've been kind of undergoing and learning about as a company as a brand as far as you know companies appropriating you know native designs and how can we kind of re reframe how people do that and think about it and, you know Carrie's been such a huge leader in that for us when you can connect a brand like ours that has the manufacturing capabilities with you know amazing designers like it and you're actually wearing you know something that sort of feel you know has the it's designed by a native and it, it's that print and it's that vibe like it's their just, story it's their story in the threat like, yeah and every you know every single motif or design like there's a story there's a, a ancestral story there's a familiar family I story just got to, chills it's crazy it's um and like when you sit with doug and hear him talk about you know the buffalo and yeah. you know a lot of his motifs have the buffalo you know kind of etched into everything just like how 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 the buffalo is so important to that culture and yeah. And with Stephen Paul Judd and the Thunderbird and how that how important that was to his tribe and to his ancestors mm -hmm. and, you know, being able to like, there's, there's, you know, it's not just, you know, a designer being like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to design this. It's like, this is representation of who I am and my people. Black and white level, it's a, you know, you as our manufacturer of apparel. Um, but I think Faraday is way more than that. And I keep hearing nods to culture and to um, definitely community but therapy like the sun sessions that carries a big part of bringing to the brand is a whole nother approach to feel good to being good and I've been at a couple I've been fortunate to be at a couple sun sessions and it's another sharing of the mic it's Carrie usually saying I know that connectivity like this and taking time to have a moment in the morning and making a weekend retreat for this kind of a place is not a, a clothing company's MO, it's a human MO. And then it goes all the way through, sort of the final thing I wanna note on is um, the importance of family for Faraday could not be more clear than to just look at every catalog that comes out. And you see an absent owner and you wonder, but with you all, you're just right in front, you're saying here's our family, <laughs> here's our kids at the breakfast table, here's, you know, here's how we do. And um, I think it inspires a lot of us that want families um, and that are in families, how to make our work, our life, our play, um, how to separate the two. We've talked about that too, you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's just, you guys are contributing to so much more than just how we feel, but just how we actually build what we're doing. So it's, it's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.